second. We call the meeting to order. Uh, this is our slightly irregular first meeting of August, um, which was moved because of a training for our administrators on the first Tuesday in August. Um, so it's Monday, July 31st, um, starting our meeting around 6 p.m. Um, so I'll take um, any changes or additions to the agenda. Um, and I think for our discussion, we were going to hit on the radar list, um, so, which we can just do publicly. Um, okay. Okay, so I will take a motion to approve the minutes. Uh, and I'm going to do them in the bulk unless somebody has an edit, and then we won't. Um, so we'll approve the minutes of May 2nd, 2023, May 24th, 2023, and June 6th, 2023. Okay, that moves the motion. I will second them. Heather seconds the motion. Okay, uh, any changes? Hearing none, we will vote. Uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye and we'll do a roll call. Aye. Beth is an aye. Heather. Aye. And Nikki is an aye. So with a vote of three to nothing, the minutes have passed. Uh, do we have any public participation or announcements? This might be the tallest we've ever <laughs> The administrators outnumber the board. <laughs> okay. Um, we might, in case anybody views it, announce the first day of school. Yes, <laughs> which is August 30th, Wednesday, August 30th. Wednesday, August 30th. Okay. And while on that, Nikki, it, I think it's important for me to note the first three days of school, the 30th, 31st, and September 1st, for kindergarten only is a 12 o'clock release. Okay. I'm so excited I'm not in that boat anymore. Woo! <laughs> I think that's great to do it sometimes. It's good for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and I really like the three, four, five start too. Yep, yep. Heard it's good for teachers too. <laughs> it's it's yeah. a good way to ease into it. Yeah, yeah, to build stamina. Yeah. Um. Okay, so we're on to the administrative report. All right, so I will share my screen. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, it's not a long one. All right. Looking at Christine's screen to make yep. sure she can see it. Yep, we are good. Okay. So a big summer update as we move to the main office. Um, it is across the hall. It worked out really nicely that there is an offshoot to the nurse's office from there and two other offices, one for myself, one for Alina there. What that move has done along with some other couple shifts is it is allowed for more staff members to have confidential spaces where they can work with students, which is is really really great. I need to tour. We'll, we'll tour after we get through. Yeah, yeah. So it's that's the big big. There's some other shifts in terms of classrooms and stuff, but that's the big one. That's so we'll put out to families in the welcome back just to expect that the office is in a different place. We'll add some pictures. That's make sure it's user friendly. I figured we were off for a while. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> I wear my guns. Yep. <laughs> The, the the theme of this coming year for Harland as well as all of the SU is an, and the idea of belonging and really wanting every staff member and every student to feel like this is the place where they belong. Um, so we now and through the year are going to be really intentional about activities and things with staff and with students really to allow people to hopefully have that feeling of belonging for staff mm -hmm. members hopefully that would lead to retention because that's at least for me the biggest recruitment is keeping teachers <laughs> and i don't we don't need to <laughs> post positions yeah so this summer i put out um a couple night hawks games we ended up going to one the other one got rained out this is summer Big surprise. certainly pretty <laughs> rainy we did go to one which was really nice i did for some reason i actually never been to a night hawks game Went with my two kids. It is great up there. It is 
really, really nice. It's free to get in. The season's over now. But Chad Sturgeon, who is one of our PE teachers, is one of the coaches, which is really cool, too. So we are also doing a middle-level retreat on August 22nd, and all of those middle-level teachers together to really have some fun, certainly, but also have some conversations so we're all on the same page. Um, it's it's tough, you know, having kids shift from room to room throughout the course of a day, and when we're on the same page, it'll make it a lot easier for everybody. And on the 21st, the day before, we're going to do a staff family potluck here. So anyone that wants to can bring their own kids and have, it'll be short, like an hour long. We'll do it from four to five, um, just have people together if they want to. If not, that's okay. And that's, they, when do the teachers start back? When new teachers, the 23rd. Okay. Yep. Lindsay, can I ask a question about um, how many teachers or how many staff members came to the Nighthawks game? Oh gosh, there we were a little spread out just because it was really sunny. So not ever it wasn't too too many. There was like four or five, which was fine because it was optional for people to come, but I think they had a good time. And an enrollment update. Right now we are at 240. This was a and actually could be because I just checked before we started. So as of today, we're at 240, but there are at least two or three that are in the wings that I know of that are that are coming. We have Correct. Correct. Most of most of the TKers were from Heartland, yep. so it didn't change the enrollment here that much. Right. Mm -hmm. But we would have lost kids that were. We included kids. Yes. That are going away. So I'm just wondering how our numbers look compared to last year. It sounds like they're about the same. They're right about the same. There are a few less, but I do attribute some of that to. The, those that program the yeah. TK in last year's enrollment numbers did include TK. Right. A portion right. of those were Heartland students, but some were not. Yeah. Um, so now this 240 number is solely Heartland with 29 incoming kindergarten Which is a good solid Which number. Which is a good yeah. solid yeah. number. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I guess what, what I'm saying we're not counting the TK program is that kids that would have come to the TK program yeah. are some are the same. Correct. So that's what I was correct. Yeah. About. Yeah. And hiring updates. We have two to bring to you this evening. The first one is Mike Foley. He will be the new music teacher. He's got a master's in music education from the University of Nebraska Lincoln and has at least six years of experience teaching as a music teacher. The interview committee was really blown away by him. Uh, he brings a lot of really positive energy. So we're really, really excited to have him join us. Let's see. What is his specialty in music? And I, uh, yeah, because Jamie was, yeah, Jamie was talking to me. Really yeah, ja really Jamie was really, really excited. Um, must be, um, it's vocal. He, and he's, <laughs> it is vocal, but he's also done a lot of the younger grades, which is really exactly what we were looking for. Okay. So it okay. worked really, really well. Nice. Yes, when we, when we walked him through and we were, were describing to him, he's like, wait, I can do what? I can help how? Like, he, he is going to be full on board with all the wonderful music opportunities that we have. So we're really oh, excited. Really excited. Yep. The other name might be a little familiar, Michelle Carlson. She has worked at HES in years past. It's been a little while, but she's got her bachelor, bachelor's in elementary ed from Keene State. She has experience teaching middle level, and she's previously worked here at Heartland Elementary School and has a lot of relationships with some of the staff members that are already here, which is really nice. Yeah, absolutely. And which room was she building? Middle level ELA. Is that, hi, Ruby. Who's <laughs> here? Where is she? Hi. 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the student rep on the board. So towards the end of the school year, Christine and I mm -hmm. interviewed Scout, commonly goes by West, the Ogilvy, um, to be the student rep for Hartland Elementary School. And we are pleased to present her to you all as the HES student rep. I think she will be incredible. Uh, really just such a knowledgeable, kind, just genuinely positive person. 
um, she is she is amazing and i think we can learn a lot from her and i think she can learn a lot from us and i think it'll be a, a great working relationship okay. she's not afraid no <laughs> <laughs> Um, Lindsay, this sounds great. Is there, was there like, was it, was she our only applicant or was there more? That's correct. She was the only one. Cool. Good. Yeah. yeah. A great one. <laughs> and what's her onboarding process? We have to decide. Well, I think we need to decide. My thought was she would come in September once the school year starts. Um, if there's anything you want me to fill her in on from now until then, that'll be our next meeting. I can do that. Probably like what her role will be. Yep. If she votes on things, is she in yep. the executive sessions, those kinds of things. She yep. might need some. Can, can we yeah. also have a follow up on like what her role is on the board? Cause like, I think we, I think I need a little reminder about what, you know, the student rep on the board's role is as well. Heather, what if we did this? What if I go over it with her, whether it's you and I and Christine or just her and I before the meeting, but would that be something that would be, I could put it on my administrative report yeah. for September, just an, yeah. an outline, even though she's That's already got idea. over it. Okay. Um, I'll do that. And then, um, I'm sorry, I have another thing that I've been thinking about. Wondering about, um, is there a place where like, we've got a listing of everyone who's teaching and what their teaching roles are? just so that like I can get people's names and what they teach. So when I see them, I'm like, oh yes, I know exactly who you are and what you teach. Um, do we have that like sort of labeled like kindergarten, first grade, second grade? The handbook. Okay. okay. Yep. But I mean, if you just look online in the student in the staff directory, it has like actual pictures. pictures yeah. Yes, I agree with that, but then I have to like, it, it yes, that's fine. Um, just wondering if there was a shorthand of like, I could just like look and see what's going on. The handbook, Heather, yeah. would have all that in there. We'll have it. We'll, we'll send it out. Yeah, have it once we, it'll be yeah. updated once we send it out. And the next slide is that I am the AGS rep for the Heartland Policing and Safety Committee. We've met twice. We plan to meet again on August 14th. The, uh, the really the big topics that we've spent, the first meeting was really just kind of getting to know each other. In the last meeting, we had Chief Frank, the Windsor uh, Police Chief come, and she really talked about the way Windsor PD works in general, answered questions of the community. Um, some of the common themes throughout the conversation have been um, response times in the, within the community and then the philosophies around policing, whether that's proactive, reactive policing. <laughs> She's like, nope, nope, I'm good there. I thought I could quickly drop the puppy off and escape. Oh, oh that's oh, okay. Treat. Okay. Puppy for child, there you go. Yep, that's all good. One of the others. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it's been a good, it's been a good couple meetings with the Heartland Policing and Safety Committee. Um, at this time, there is no recommendations moving forward. I think there may be, we're just not at that point right now. So I'll and keep so the board up. Interview, and they've been distracted. <laughs> um, by that, they're gonna interview their policing systems or? Are they going to talk to the sheriffs? Or? Right. Uh, yeah. The plan is to have um, Ryan Palmer come to the next meeting. Um, she sheriff. is the sheriff. Windsor County, oh. sheriff. Windsor County Sheriff. Yep. Um, so then I think right now is just talking to to different police entities and getting their philosophies and trying yeah. to have an understanding and go from there. Yeah. There was talk at our meeting. The last meeting was getting community input and how incredible that's what chief frank had said how incredibly important it is to get the community input and what yeah. do they want what does the heartland community want out of policing and what does it look like for the community do you want something that is primarily reactive which i think is is more along the lines of what's happening now with vsp or are you looking for something different that may be more proactive in a community-based approach and it really is is going to depend on what the community wants to do so that was that was her suggestion. I think that's a good one. And um, electric buses and Heather, I don't know if actually you might have any insight from your professional work, but um, there were some community members that reached out around the idea of electric buses. 
So our bus company, who's Student Transportations of America, they are the ones who are beginning an application process. But we were just recently informed that Heartland was on a list that would have potentially been eligible, has been taken off the list, but that the, uh, and the EPA was the ones that took us off the list. So they do believe though, that in the future there will be opportunities that just, is kind of at a, a pause right now, but it's not completely off the table forever. Is there a reason the EPA is off the uh, I think it was based on, um, I want to say, because I talked to Larry about it, um, it's it's more than free and reduced. It's not just your actual free and reduced number, but there's other other requirements. But he, he's confident that there's another pool of money that we may we may qualify so but um what's great about it is uh, we don't have to apply the bus company to us which is, <laughs> which yeah. is great yeah and they actually yeah. said it's well, better right well there is going to be according to larry you get the money for the bus but you would have to build the infrastructure to oh, so get yeah, the charges yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so just something to think about because that is a i think you mentioned around forty thousand dollar cost yeah. up front I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Green Mountain Power? Great, probably Green Mountain. Because they may help. Yeah. 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 And Efficiency they, Vermont? Well, they, they might, out. yeah. And Larry did say yeah. of the buildings within the SU, Heartland is a, in a good place because we have that whole mm -hmm. separate bus barn, which actually makes it yeah. more of an ideal place to try something like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Kristen, right. you're up. Be posted. Are you sharing the screen? The yeah. I am recording it with the, with the. Oh, well, we can't see. Oh, I see. No. Um. And do you want me to take this? If you want to take that. This is um. I'll just call her back. Okay. I'll just tell her. Yeah. Clark. There's another meeting I may have to get into. It's, um, um, okay, I'm going to go quick because there's a special meeting I'm out of Scotney and they are I own the meeting. So um, I'm reporting tonight that oh yeah, you don't you don't have it, you can't see it. <laughs> um, 112, 112 students from all of our schools um, are enrolled in Summer Academy. It's the last week this week. On average, it's about 90 kids that show up every day, K-5, which is great. There were um, 30 full-time equivalent staff members or some part-time. So we, we did NFTs and that's a higher number than last year because of the needs of the kids that are in the program. There's some one-on-ones that were needed, but it's gone the smoothest it's ever gone. And we've been thrilled. And I think the kids even don't mind. <laughs> um, okay. And then um, on for onboarding, I just wanted you to know that we worked really hard on our onboarding system. Part of it is to retain our staff. We want them to feel like they know what they're getting into and feel welcome and feel that sense of belonging. We've onboarded uh, 50 staff members this year and um, we've set up a new system where they get to sign up for a time to come to the central office and Tina and Brittany walk them through Frontline and how to do their professional development and timesheets and all of that kind of stuff, which has been Great, they get their Chromebooks, so we test their logins and um, they have everything that they need, which is wonderful. Um, and we've, we've done a new onboarding system, mostly Brittany. We've helped a little bit. She's given us, she's given us homework assignments. <laughs> um, but there's a Google Classroom, which takes them, we had to do videos to introduce ourselves and work for them to do. And, and then there's a website that she's created. So they're, they're doing all their foundational trainings ahead of school starting and they get paid i think for six hours to do that so it's been very successful and that is all that's the end of my report and i'm going to just step out and get the other meeting started i'll be right back and i feel like that's how kids get enrolled in some schools from our academy is it by oh. teacher recommendation or is it part of it is teacher recommendation part of it is um, our mtss process where we identify kiddos that may need extra support and the kiddo that is identified on a iep 504 not exclusively but through a variety of different ways. Bit. Not necessarily, more so by student need. Okay. Well, it's just like that. <laughs> That's the end of the administrative report. Okay. That's it. Okay. Um, 
also in the uh, public participation announcement. The first day of school is August 30th. I think it's the other part of the Did I heard that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did think it was later than that in my brain. Okay. Yeah, that's the Wednesday before. Yep. Labor Day. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So I think I did actually know that. Yeah. We're gonna go. To, I think I actually did know that somewhere. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Saw> the parents. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, that's hard. Oh, oh. Not messing with that. Okay. yeah. I think they're all the same. Yeah. But Rivendell is its own. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, in my household, it's everybody can over and over. Yeah, or Waldorf. I'm not sure about Waldorf, actually. I'd rather need to do some research. <laughs> okay, so moving on to items for the uh, discussion. Um, we, we're not um, in, a, in um, a retreat. You're not allowed to talk about um, policies and like, board direction. Um, so we couldn't talk about the radar list um, during our board retreat. And so I just wanted to bring it up. And um, Hannah may not even know, actually, Heather, you don't even know how it was developed. Um, so our radar yeah, list. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll hear it again. Yeah, I, did, I know I did tell you once. Um, so the radar list we developed over the course of like five meetings. Um, it took a while. And we all kind of um, brainstormed things that were important to us. And then we looked for the overlap and came to a consensus on um, the things that we want to keep front and center. and. Part of the reason for developing it was um, the recognition that as we were moving through, um, it was developed while simultaneously with developing the supervisory union plan. And the idea is that we didn't want to have um, a second set of goals since we were hoping that the supervisory plan would really meet um, Heartland's needs as far as goals. And we didn't want to have to be kind of juggling two different sets of goals going forward. And so we developed the radar list as kind of a informal goal setting um, list or um, just a, a list to keep at our front and center of things that we believe in and want to keep um, working towards. And so I thought that we should revisit it um, in a public session and just make sure that these are things that people still feel are important and also like if you read part of the list, is there something that you like really think that we need to focus on in general? Um, so, I mean, I think, so if we go through the mm -hmm. number one or the, the one at the top um, is community engagement. And that is probably, I think it is one of the supervisory unions primary goals for this year, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, we haven't we haven't had the SU board retreat yet. Oh right. It's, it's the seventh of right. August here. Mm -hmm. Um but yes. yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um and then um it sounds like the theme of togetherness is also yeah. very much about building community. Yeah. Um and I also think that we're really with our community suppers, those are mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, they're well attended and we're really intentional on our end to try to pair it with something else. Mm -hmm. So like a back to school night, that also is a community mm -hmm. dinner. And mm -hmm. the more ways we can get people into the buildings, mm -hmm. we know people's schedules are really hectic and busy. So if we can combine things together, save people time. And feed them. Yes, <laughs> and feed them along. I wonder if the, just like looking at that list, not to jump ahead too much, but yeah. I wonder if the physical plant would be something just to really make sure we kind of, I know there's sort of work to think about that, but right. with all the discussions that are gonna happen around sort of personnel security, mm -hmm. or sort of security personnel, and also just like my general sense of the, you know, the the community feeling right. that's really high on parents' list. And it might just be something to make sure we have at least a good sense, at least amongst the board, of sort of like, what is, where are we at yeah. with that? What's our perspective yeah. on that security? What things are being done to... And I don't know, you weren't probably part of this. We hired... Mm -hmm. um, I did not know that but I knew about it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. one of the things that they're looking at is security. right. So yeah. that'll be. When does that like? I guess that work can start. Yeah, July. it can. It can start July first. Yep. Um, so yeah, I mean that'll definitely be something that we want to. And, yeah. and, and the state's doing um, building assessment every school in the state. Right. Heartland was done last 
December, yes. I think. We don't have yep. the report back yet, but um, no, but, but, it'll, but it'll probably be better than what's side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it will. Yeah, hundred percent. It's not been raining. Did you just throw us under the bus? No. <laughs> What did you just throw us under the bus for? I missed that because I can't hear everybody. It's about bricks and water. We were systems, not people. Oh, it's so sad. Our high school is so gross. <laughs> and I actually think that's a good timing, though, Hannah, too, because Larry Dower is working on Heartland's five year plan. Oh, so good. when he's done, I think it would probably be a great idea. Christine, you and I can invite him he can come, yeah. and he can yeah. come and talk about that five year plan. Yeah. Not, I don't, I don't, well, we have the five year plan for Is he waiting to work on that until we have the feedback? Yeah, that's that's kind of, I don't the, think so, but I'm not sure. I, I can reach out to Larry. I don't know what his timeline is. Do you know, Christine? Um, I think it's early fall, but. I mean, be uh, aware that those building right. audits are being yeah. done and it should yeah. Yeah. coincide. Okay. Yeah, just thinking that those things may yeah. all really like converge nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can we discuss or add um, teacher and staff retention onto our list as well? Just because I feel like I feel like it's an important thing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's great, Heather. And maybe not retention, but uh, I don't want to call it security, but it's it's not just about keeping them. It's about keeping them and keeping them happy. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Satisfaction. Um, satisfaction is the word. Yeah. Um, satisfaction. Yeah. Um, and I also, like, I'll, I'll note, like, I think that's a great one to add, but um, I also don't want it to get too long. So if you see one that we should um get rid of uh, or if it's too well covered i was just wondering proficiency-based education um i can i have the background on why that one is on there only because i well i just yeah can i hear some background on that one um it was the list was developed right when that was that transition was happening so there was a lot of confusion, um, misunderstanding, and training that needed to happen. Still does. It yeah. still does, yeah, at the time. And I mean, I'll be honest, looking at the list, that's the one that I want to hmm. get rid of because I think all of that is happening at the supervisory union level. And yeah. It's a lot. It's in a very different place from the curriculum change. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, can I just ask a question? Because I don't. I feel like as a parent of a third grader um, and a, well, now a fourth grader and a first grader, whatever, but like when it comes to getting feedback on like where my child is, like, is it, what is the protocol for the lower grades for actually seeing like how my child is doing? Do you know what I mean? Like, should I, like when I went to look on power school, like I could see some things on there. Like, is that normal or like, or should I see more things? Should I see less things? Should, I'm just wondering like, how is, how is grading being reported other than like me having to go to power school and being like, click on my kids' names? So Heather, teachers are expected to regularly be inputting grades into power school but that might look different in a seventh grade classroom than it does in a first grade classroom if that makes sense you might see more grades uploaded in a seventh grade classroom than you may in a first grade classroom does that answer okay. your question that totally answers my question i it would be really lovely if we like if parents sort of got notified as to like what to expect like what should we expect on power school like, what are the first grade teachers going to put on there? What are the third grade teachers going to put on there? Like, uh, the seventh grade teachers and the eighth grade teachers, I can, and sixth, I can imagine there's lots of grades going in in power school. But, like, I totally get why my kindergartner, like, there, you know, there was barely anything in there. Totally understand. But, like, I think, I think. I heard feedback from some parents, and this is why I'm talking about under the radar, because I don't know if this is 
a radar list thing or just something we can sort of solve. But a lot of feedback I got was like, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to expect on power school, especially for like the kids in, you know, like K through K through three is like my hangout spot. So, um, mm -hmm. so that's all I know is that there's like, I would have loved for me to know, like, it will be, there will be five grades in there by January or something, just so that I had an idea of like when I should go looking and hunting around for things. Oh, that makes sense. So we can we can make sure that teachers put out there what to expect for parents. And a part of it is we spent a lot of last year trying to just get parents onto power school. And we still have some work to do with that, but we can also make sure that teachers put out, you know, these are the types of things you will see in our classroom in power school. So when you guys have your back to school night, it might be really awesome. I don't I I don't remember if this was one of them, but to have like a power school, like, come on, we'll do power school together. Um, that might be really helpful. Yeah, we did that last year and got a few. We can definitely do it again this year. Yeah, we've done it a couple of mm -hmm. you, you should start to um, have more um, feedback too soon, Heather, with, with EduClimber and the STAR assessment that we're gonna be doing this year. Oh. They talk. <laughs> the systems and you're going to be and Brittany showed me some of the reports that you can run in EduClimber um, and parents will be able to get some of that information which will be really really helpful yeah I will say along the same lines um, it would be nice um, when we end our terms maybe to just shoot a note to parents and say that check. the terms ending you yeah. Check, yeah like now yeah. because yeah yeah I, yeah I totally agree Unless there's a problem, like unless like all of a sudden, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> not like oh they're missing X, Y, and Z assignments. I've heard yeah. know that. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I, I'll be honest, I haven't checked hours. But it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> reset have. every semester. You know that, right? I mean, it's right. Per, it, yeah, it's, it's right, just. A, but it just I know, but like I just opened it and there's nothing in there for my kids, and you can't. There's no way I trying to go back. They're like, well, what was last year? And yeah, it's mm -hmm. I can't go back. You can't go back last year. Right. And I never. Oh, and and now that it's after July first, it's been rolled. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like, why can't I mean, I, I don't know, like, part of me wants to see my kids' history from kindergarten. Like, you could, what if tech, doing, tech can like, get it for you, you know, but that's not like, I don't know. if, if no, yeah. to be able to. Like, that just yeah. seems, I think there's a yeah. history, there used to be a history time. I just tried to look and see because I thought here you could pull down because it's just this class overview 23 24, and I was like, oh, well, do 22 23. And there's and nothing given an option of hmm. Hmm. select term, but um. But reminders would, would, would be, be good. Help, right? yep. Yeah. Yep. Not that that'll help. All of but I mean, I mean, I'll be honest. I mean, I miss. I mean, the number like one, two, three, four, like that doesn't. I don't get a lot from it. Right. You know, mm -hmm. like that's really. I mean, this is no big difference in A, B, C, D. You know, it's not a lot. It's really the narrative yeah. of where are they? Mm -hmm. Where? How can I help? Where is that? Mm -hmm. And so it's like, what's the balance between having meetings with the teacher so you can get that narrative? Yeah. versus can they put a sentence or two in power school or like what's mm -hmm. because i don't know where to aim my <laughs> my support yeah in, in ways yeah. So. um the end of year end of year teacher meetings are sort of optional is that right is that across the board or was that just i only have one year of experience like more in skill and sort of offered end of the year parent teacher meetings for that kind of narrative was it the end end of year? Yeah, like, like at the, you know, at the end of kindergarten, there's not that's, like so that is that that's a, so she, she did that. It's but not, most teachers do not do that. With no. Okay, but we just have parent teacher conferences twice a year. Twice, twice a year. year. Yep. So yes, yeah, so you don't really get that like end of term of the year narrative yeah. unless right. you were to ask for it or to like okay. to your bird. Right. Yeah, it's like you don't okay. want to have some bugs on at the end of the year, right? Right. right. But right. I feel like I have a much clearer idea of where I know where Silas is, being that he has an IEP. And so we're getting mm -hmm. a lot more feedback of what's coming. Well, I was wondering if this versus tomorrow, I'm kind of like, eh. I was wondering if this, this bullet point that is special education, yeah. like if there's if there's something that we should make more general that is some way to frame that that's like, you know, in general, you know, educational progress report. I mean, I don't know, something yeah. for more broadly for students, including those who play on the road. But I don't want to minimize the importance of keeping special ed stuff. Yeah. Well, I feel like special ed's clicked down on our list quite a bit, and this is with the 
structural changes that were in place. Yes, you know, special like, ed was very, very, very so, high on the list. So, 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 maybe, so maybe then in some like revision of that, there should be some way to sort of say like, you know, because community engagement is not so much about sort of parent teacher um, conversation. That's really about like school engagement, right? But maybe right. there's some way to sort of more or you know roll special education up into some bullet point that is student progress sort of, yeah student school progress school. student you know individual learning kind mm -hmm. of thing that can encompass both special education mm -hmm. and those plans and keep that at the forefront but then also be thinking about um you know more yeah i mean it's, it's communicating student progress mm -hmm. yeah it's communicating it's all of it though it's also like student engagement which is mm -hmm. a part which is also there's engagement preparation and variety. What does that refer to? Sorry, that's it's student engagement. Student yeah, yeah. Areas of history of grades. On how it's yeah, I think it might not be showing up on your phone. Yeah. I know. On the phone now. Yeah, I've never used it on the computer. I've never been able to get on the computer with it. I, just, I only use. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I just texted Heather and said, "Was there power power school for kids?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and kindergarten is going to be the least amount of grades. Yeah, right, right, right. No, I'm sorry. I was like, was there anything uploaded that I didn't know about? Um, he wanted to go back the next day. I took yeah. that as the narrative. Yeah, back. That's yeah good. there you go. It's good. Kindergarten. There like you go. it. Okay, fine. Yeah. Good. Engaged. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, Okay, I think as we write these bullet lists, I'm going to come back to the step again. Because I, yeah. I don't want to just like make changes and be like, okay, we can totally change. Yeah, no, no, I think, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, yeah, so they, oh, we talked about, um, so there's, to go back up, there's social emotional, um, which I think is still critical. Yeah. And I'm excited yeah. about the, um, the new individual spaces. Mm -hmm. I think a big part of social emotional <laughs> health of some of our students. Um, do we want to add? Um, do we want to add DEI as a bullet point as sort of something that is going to be kind of with the the yes assessment that was done and sort of thinking about that as it affects all parts of yes. And Tracy, our new, she's here. She's in Vermont. She found a house, which is great. And um, she'll be reporting at the SU board level, I think twice, we'll put her on the schedule for That's next year as well. So awesome. I yeah. think it's also just a, for our radar list, yeah. like how are things going? Mm -hmm. Is there anything going like some examples that we had last year <laughs> that we yeah. want to move through? Um, OK, uh, so then the engagement preparation and variety that was more, um, it's like the students' education, um, which is also like all of these tie exactly. So these were all written before we wrote the supervisory plan that they all like highlighted. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> the first, you know, as you plan. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know if we want to, I think we do want to keep that on there because we've definitely um, struggled with creating and I don't have the right words right now, but you know, creating plans that allow kids to explore mm -hmm. in their own way. Like we started, we kind of fell apart. We started and so middle it's level a, especially. Yeah. yeah. And it's a it's in the strategic plan. It's a yeah, goal, exactly. So. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um okay. And then so I think there was a proposal to get rid of proficiency based education because I don't Feel a need to keep track of them anymore because like the SU is yeah 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 um, it's well in progress now yeah. <laughs> whereas when we wrote it down it was yeah. not um, and then the process the stick to our role as a board I think is always important to have on our radar yeah. list so that we're not steering the boat um, in a bad way okay um, to so that will you read those back Nikki just to make sure I have everything oh, yeah um, I can also text you a picture of mine. Yeah, that's fine. Or I, well, I can read you what I have. I just, I don't, I have community engagement. Yep. Social emotional. Yep. Engagement, preparation, variety, variety staff yep. satisfaction. Yep. Physical plant. Yep. Communicating student progress. Yep. Diversity, equity, inclusion. 
and then, and then your staff satisfaction. I had staff. Oh, yeah, staff. I put staff oh, satisfaction. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Cool. All right. I'll just yeah. email to Laura. Uh huh. Lori. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Well, I think that was a good discussion. So um, now I think we had given administration the approval to do hiring yep. um, while we were gone. But I was wondering if we should just vote on it to make it formal and to make sure that those teachers yeah. feel very welcome by us um, in case they go read our minutes. Uh, so, um, so I would take a motion to hire Mike Foley, right? Mike Foley. Foley, yeah. okay. Um, and Michelle Carlson um, onto our staff. Mike will be the uh, music, one of the music teachers and Michelle will be a mid-level VLA. A motion? Make a motion. Okay, so second. Anna makes the motion. Beth seconds, uh, and we'll do a roll call. Um, is there any further discussion on those? No? Okay, so we'll do a roll call. Beth? Aye. Anna? Aye. Nikki? Aye. Heather? Aye. Aye. Awesome. Okay, so that was a vote of four to nothing. Um, and we are excited to have these new staff members and look forward to meeting them. Um, Can I ask okay. a question? Because I think I might have missed this on staff retreat, Jay. Who did we hire for the math position? Uh, it would be Cynthia Glenn. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and do we need to vote on the student reps? What was your process? I don't the process was. We need to have the tab pulled up. <clears throat> did she? Did uh, The Mount of Scotty process involved an interview with the board. I don't know if you kept that at this level. So, okay, yeah. level. Let me pull it up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a daunting. We're just thing. excited. Yeah. 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 We're not quite as. Um, but I think you should probably vote. I think we should vote. Yeah, on her. Yeah. Sure. I don't think it would hurt. I don't. Think so. We certainly want to welcome her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I will take a motion to appoint. Um, Les Ogilvy as our student representative on the board. Is there a motion? So moved. Okay, Beth, as I look at you. Okay, <laughs> Beth is, uh, moves the I'll motion. Second. Hannah seconds. Okay, um, any further discussion? Nope. Okay, we'll do a roll call. Beth. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Nikki, aye. Heather. Aye. Okay. We are welcoming West to be the student rep on our Woo. Hi. Excited to see her in September. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Are we so going back to staffing? Are there any, still any holes that need filled? There is a position posted for a Spanish teacher, as well as. Did we a, make that a world language teacher posting, or is it? How did we post it? I think we posted a Spanish. Okay. And there was like some conversation. Yeah, about that there was. We posted cool, a but. Spanish for now. We have not gotten any applicants. Okay. There's also a part time appoint five instructional coach position that is title funded that is posted. So is that going to impact? I think, well, you and I talked about Spanish mm -hmm. not potentially having a huge impact on programming. Correct. Um, will the instructional, instructional coach? We will still be able to utilize Patty Gray, who is the SU level instructional coach. Between her and Angie and Brittany and the, the curriculum team, okay. they will make sure to, to support all of us as, as we need it. Okay. The other- um, Great to get somebody though. It would be, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the other hole, hole that we have not filled yet is the long-term sub position for a PE teacher. Oh, yes. um, we posted that back at the end of June, but haven't gotten any applicants at this point. We'll, re we'll refresh the posting. Okay. We'll put the screws. Well, to there's some great baby carriers. Our neighbors. Of our neighbors. He was the, the so maybe the yes. will just strap the baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 Welcome to motherhood in America. Yes. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Okay. Um. Okay. So we are now on to setting the next agenda. Um, yeah, what's September 5th. September 5th. Yep. And I have on 
my list and our administrative report, I will go over this with the West, but I'll also recap it for the board, the roles and responsibilities of the student representative. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, okay. Um, Is there anything else that you would like to see from now until then I'll reach out to Black River Design so I could give you just yes. an update on what that looks like. Yeah. Oh, um, is there any playgrounds? I have it on my list to um, the, have the guy come and talk maybe October or so okay. just to walk through some ideas yeah. with the board. So right. it'll, it'll be upcoming. Okay. Um, share your uh, Heartland Wigs. Ah, yep. What? Uh, what we'll, have, we'll have set our goals. Oh. Our, mm -hmm. <laughs> our, we call them wigs. Oh, Wildly oh, important oh, goals. Yep. Okay. So Lindsay, are we going to have a, a woods update? Because aren't we doing like some crazy woods project with making it accessible? Yep, I can add that. Yep. Yeah, thank you. And also, are you going to, um, can we include um, like when, if you have set these things by any chance, like the welcome back nights and the like open house night, if that's something different or just yep, sort of I, a little calendar would be lovely. Yep. And I'll probably, I will also put it in the welcome back newsletter to all families. Those dates are already set. So I'll put it in that as well. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Um, just wondering like with the enhancing the trail and accessibility down there, um, is there any thought and plans around like, PD for teachers to support them to, to use it? Get more time out there to spread it. That would be great. Just be, it hasn't been anything. Just, just yeah. 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 Well, those Lauren is an expert. I mean, she could. Oh yeah. She could do a training. Yeah. Um, I don't, it's not in the PD calendar, I can tell you that, but it doesn't mean um, it can't happen at Heartland during staff meetings. You could, I mean, one yeah. way to, one way to show staff how to use it is to use it. Yep. Like, have your staff meeting down there and makes it less mm -hmm. scary. Yep. Yep. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. To get the fire, get the fire permit. We should have no problem this year, right? Yeah. I'll bring with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I, but we I, should put that on our list of yeah. things to, mm -hmm. I mean, there are, there's a, I know my, some of my staff went through a whole year of PD that once mm -hmm. a month they had two staff, two people come in and they did, a, it was just like two hours. It was part of, yeah. because we, it, we don't do like, we, we get out early every Thursday. So it was mm -hmm. like their Thursday PD time at the end. Okay. Like two to four. Yeah. And so, and it was very much like, this is what we're doing. So it was a year, so it was really reinforced. Over and over again. Over and over again. And yeah. then it was the following year, it was like, we met with them twice, you know, mm. and like let them work back mm. and see what we're doing. Who did that? Do you know? Eliza. It was Eliza. Yeah, I think okay. we're. Yeah. Probably, but there may be some way that they, I mean, I, I, when I was at Atacuiche, they would come and just go outside yeah. with classrooms, mm -hmm. like during the school day and right. help oh. facilitate. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, yeah. 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 And I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm happy as a volunteer if I can come in. Yeah. Or yeah. If there's, if my P, it like, yeah. If things yeah. don't line yeah. up, yeah. Line yeah. Up. yeah. Was it grant funded? Do you know how? Probably. Or BS are funded. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was it actually it was before that. I think they started right before COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting to see because they ended up developing an entire like seasonal slideshow mm -hmm. for every single grade of this like this is what literacy looks like in the outdoor classroom mm -hmm. this whatever so it was like also that's very cool the teachers sharing what they're up to that would be really it was really cool like, just to put out there to the world yeah like i think it'd be cool to share you know yeah oh well, i have it i mean if you yeah. want I'm, i guess that's that's cool to see if it's okay to share yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. great and i think ideas are like mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and some of it too is just voicing that like do you have um what I find is like teachers tend to use me like like in all these different levels is it's just like you actually want me to come in and teach a lesson from the ground this is what we're doing I'm bringing everything mm -hmm. and you just kind of want to observe is it we're team teaching this together or is it you just need an extra warm body to make sure that you can pull this new thing off that you want to try so mm -hmm. it's like you know all those just different kinds of levels of support mm -hmm. that I find that you know just trying to get out there and do things that's interesting yeah yeah 
Um, and you probably should talk about budget a little bit September. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But that goes really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but preliminary. preliminary. Yep. Yeah. Lots of ideas. Yep. Budget level. Mm -hmm. No actual numbers. Yep. I think that's a, that is compared to today a very hard. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good. Yep. Um, Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey. I I think I think that's it. Okay. Um well is there a need for any discussion in executive session around this at the end of this I don't believe so. Yeah. Um I'm on a tour. So I don't know if it's like school business that we have to come back and I think we just have to say to the public, public, if you would like it for contact the school. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I guess we can adjourn and we can go on a tour, but not talk about But not talk school. Yeah. 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 Yep. You can do that. I'm looking at the school. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. School, you can do that. We won't, we won't make any plans or we will not discuss the future. We will look at the present only okay. what is present in front of us. Can I go okay. on the tour? <laughs> um, Somebody come wants visit. to come visit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her. She's so sad. <laughs> I'm in Florida. I'm trapped in Florida. Well, not trapped yet. It's in Florida. That's right. Yeah. It'll be okay. Is Colleen down there too? No, she's she's got family. Um, okay, let's go on a tour and let's call for an adjournment. Uh, okay. Okay, Beth moves to adjourn. I'll second. Anna seconds. Okay, and I'm not going to do a roll call. All those in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 Okay, we're done. Okay. okay.